Hello and welcome again. Uh, this is Arif uh, Today I have some data uh, showing uh, the number of populations of a certain area uh, in given year. And somebody wants to know what was the population uh, in that area uh, in the year 1915 was. Uh, to answer this question, we have some uh, many different method of formula. Uh, today I will introduce uh, Newton's forward interpolation formula to solve this kind of problem. So, this is uh, the Newton's forward interpolation formula. Uh, we have some terms such as u, uh, del f of a, del square f of a, and I'm just telling what it, what these are. Uh, u is equal to x minus a divided by h, uh, where x is the point you required. Uh, that is, uh, if you want to know the population in the year 1915, so x equal uh, 1915 here. Uh, a is this a is just the uh, initial uh, point, so in this case, uh, the value of A will be uh, 1891, and H is the uh, interval between two points. Uh, and as you know, uh, del f of A, del square f of A are the, uh, are the differences at the point A, where del f of A is the first order difference at the point A, del square f of A is the second order difference at the point A. Okay. Uh, to uh, write this uh, problem in this code, uh, I need to find or extract some logic or pattern out of this formula. So, what those are? Uh, firstly, uh, f of a is just the uh, value uh, or number of population in the year 1891. So, I don't need to worry about that at all. Uh, I have just, uh, I can just consider it as a fixed value. Uh, from this term, I will consider this as my first term and second and so forth. Uh, here, I, I'd like to show you uh, the pattern of the u term first, and I'd like to show you the pattern of the differences. Uh, for the for the first term, I have only u, and the second term, I have uh, u minus 1 multiplied with u. Th then the third term, u minus uh, 2 multiplied with u and u minus 1. Uh, so as uh, the formula progresses, uh, a new term is being multiplied uh, with each u term. So I need to find that a new term every time uh, for every number of term increases. Uh, and again, uh, for uh, the first term, I have only the first order difference at a point A. Uh, for the second term, I have only the second order difference uh, at a point A. And, uh, for int term, I have int order difference at a point A. Uh, so as the term uh, number of term increases as the formula progresses, and the order of uh, difference at the point A increases. So I just need to find out those differences. Uh, I can find it uh, constructing a forward table. Uh, and I have another problem: uh, these factorial values, and those are easily adjusted when I find. The, the u term. Okay, so let's go back to my code and uh, see how to work in math. Okay, this is my code I have uh, written here. And uh, firstly, I have to construct, construct a forward difference table uh, to uh, work with Newton's forward interpolation formula. Uh, I am not talking about much about the forward difference table. Uh, take the link below in the description if you don't know how to construct a forward difference table in MATLAB. And if you have any question about that, then leave it in the comments. Okay, now I'd like to run the forward difference table code. And. Uh, the starting x value was 1891, interval was 10, ending x value was 1931. Uh, the y values were 46, 56, uh, 81, 93, and 101. So my forward difference table is constructed, and as you can see, uh, a scatter plot is uh, introduced here. 
uh, just to show you uh, the feel of the data. And uh, this uh, scatter plot shows that in 1915, uh, the population will be around somewhere uh, more than 82 or 85 around that. Okay, let's go back to my code and show how to interpret the forward difference formula. Uh, for the forward difference formula, I just uh, I first need to take the input at the, po uh, the point you require to uh, find the number of population. So I've just taken the input here. Uh, for this problem, I would like to know what was the population in 1915 was. Uh, here, uh, yeah, I defined uh, the u term as uh, u is equal uh, x minus a divided by 8. Uh, I've uh, taken the input of uh, f of a, which is the first value of y, uh, and I fixed it in, the, in a variable ans. Okay, I run this. Okay, now uh, in this for loop, I, I will just show you. Uh, how to interpret the formula. Uh, this loop will r run through i equal uh, 1 to n minus 1. So, uh, n is the number of observations I have. I will run through uh, for n minus 1 term. In this for loop, I've just calculated the value of u terms. Uh, what was, uh, what were the u terms was? I said, uh, u u into u minus 1, those terms are uh, calculated uh, here. And uh, after the end of this uh, calculation, I would I just uh, put them in the hands, multiplied by differences. So how does it work? Uh, when uh, i is equal 1, uh, j is equal 1. Uh, so term equal term into u minus uh, 1 plus 1 divided by 1. So term equal uh, u, which is the first term of our formula. Uh, and uh, after this calculation, uh, I will go here. Uh, n equal, uh, n, uh, uh, this is the uh, fixed value of uh, y of 1 or f of a. Plus, uh, I have stored u in the term, multiplied with the first difference, and uh, add up with the n. Uh, and uh, uh, likewise, when uh, i is equal to uh, j is equal, uh, uh, j will run 1 through 2 uh, to calculate uh, uh, u into u minus 1 divided by 2 uh, and so forth. I can calculate the uh, other terms. And uh, in the denominator j, uh, this uh, completes the job to calculate the factorial values of. Uh, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, and so forth. So, uh, this is uh, how to interpret uh, Newton for Newton's forward interpolation formula in MATLAB, and I just run this code to show you the answer. Okay, so in the year 1915, the uh, population of that area was uh, 86.14. 88 last and uh, to show you the graph uh, here uh, I can't plot it uh, that the population was 86.1488 so thank you for watching this video and if you have any question leave it on the uh, comment box And there is another method called Newton's backward interpolation formula, which is so similar to this one. Uh, you just need to construct a uh, backward difference table first, and uh, you have to you know, take the differences. Uh, in this code, I have taken the differences of uh, the point A. Um, but uh, for the backward difference formula, uh, backward interpolation formula, uh, you will uh, take the differences of the last point of A. Uh, try this out and try this one out if you have any queries about that one you can also leave it in the comment box i will help you
solving that problem. Thank you.